describe Ted Cruz? I guess it was you that took me by there one time and told me that. Show Conservative. Me. That's the last time I was ever yes. out there on the old road. Impressive. Logical. Smug. Not all good. Mostly good. <laughs> Senator, what have you not, and if you all can grab your dials, this is going to be a discussion. Mm -hmm. What have you not had the chance to tell them? That would help them make up their minds. How many of you are still undecided today? Raise your hands. This is your chance to reach out to about a third of the group. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them that might convince them that you're the right candidate? And everyone grab your dolls and let's start reacting. Well, listen, I, I think the stakes have never been higher than they are right now. Uh, I think one of the great things of the people of South Carolina is y'all are looking very seriously at these candidates. Uh, you know, this Saturday, when we had the last debate, Earlier that day, Justice Scalia passed away. And I think it really underscored just how high the stakes are in this election. And, and what I believe the men and women of South Carolina are looking for is, is they're asking, who can I trust? You know, the Supreme Court right now is hanging in the balance. And our basic constitutional rights, our Second Amendment, our free speech, our religious liberty, every one of them were one liberal justice away from them being taken away from. And what we've seen over and over again, the Democrats, when they have the White House, they always put left-wing activists on the court. But the problem is Republicans, more than half the time, we mess it up. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, do. So then why should they trust you? Because I've spent my whole life fighting to defend the Constitution. I've spent my whole life fighting to defend the Bill of Rights. What question would you ask Senator Cruz? I'd like to ask him if things don't work out for the presidential election, I think you would be a fabulous Supreme Court justice. You guys would, agree? <laughs> would you accept that? Will you Listen, thank you. I appreciate this. You, you, that, you know, look, what I'll tell you, having principled Supreme Court justices is immensely important. But I think our country is in crisis right now. You, you know, I would like to be in a position to appoint two, three, four, five principled Supreme Court justices, but we also need a president. Who will, who will fight to repeal Obamacare. We need a president who will fight to pass a flat tax. We need a president... We need to a Supreme Court that's going to hold that up. It needs to be... I, I, I promise you, you are preaching to the choir so much. I, I mean, listen, I, I've spent almost my entire life practicing in front of the court, but on foreign policy, we need a president that stands with Israel. We need a president that defeats radical Islamic terrorism. Well, as a veteran myself, my yeah. husband's a uh, retiree of the United States Army. What are you going to do to help our armed forces, yeah. particularly yeah. our veterans? Uh, yeah. huge, hugely important question. We've got to rebuild the military. The weakening of the military under Obama has been absolutely unconscionable. Earlier this week in South Carolina, I rolled out a comprehensive plan to rebuild the military. To start with, Obama has proposed reducing our army down to 450,000 soldiers. That's too weak to get the job done. We're going to rebuild it to, to 525,000 instead. We're going to take... Todd, with the tobacco of the Supreme Court decision that was made this past summer, Yes. how do you see that continuing to affect our religious liberties in the negative way that it already seems to have been doing? It, listen, you're absolutely right. The gay marriage decision, it was utterly lawless, it was illegitimate, it was contrary to the Constitution. And as far as I'm concerned, it will not stand. All right, Senator Cruz, if you will change my mind okay. and you'll have my vote, you can answer this question. Um, have, I have a lot of friends in the medical field, yeah. and we can all agree that Obamacare is a cancer. And it is a cancer that needs to be cut out, but it needs to be cut out the right way. If you cut it out the wrong way, it's going to absolutely kill the country and kill our health care system. Yeah. How, step by step, do you plan on removing Obamacare. Hey, Andy, it's a great question. Yeah. I think we got to start by repealing every word of it. But once we do that, we're not done. Everyone agrees we need health care reform. I think health care reform ought to expand competition, ought to empower patients, and ought to keep government from getting between us and our doctors. We need to let people purchase health insurance across state lines. We need to expand health savings accounts. We need to make health insurance portable so it goes with you from job to job. Did you win your vote? He won the vote. <laughs> Good for you. Excellent. One last question going in the back center. You're up. Um, a lot of people I know uh, are scared of you. Uh, I had a friend next to me who, and I thought it was rather ridiculous, but she did say she thought if you wanted to be a theocracy. How are you going to convince moderates mm -hmm. and independents that you're not going to, you know, turn the country into a theocracy or anything, you know, so right-wing that they get crazy about it? 
Well, listen, one of the things the media does is they try to paint anyone who's actually a Bible-believing Christian as a nut. You guys agree with that? And, and, and so it's wrong. Listen, I am a born-again Christian. It's who I am. It's integral to who I am. And I'm not going to hide my faith. I'm not going to be ashamed of Jesus. Right. But, but you know, I'm... At the same time, I'm not running to be pastor-in-chief. My dad is a pastor. But it's not the job of a, of a presidential candidate or a president to be the pastor. It's the job of the president to be the leader for everyone. And I think the answer you can give your friends more than anything is that I am a constitutionalist. The Bill of Rights protects everyone. Religious liberty, it protects Christians, it protects Jews, it protects Muslims, it protects Hindus, it protects atheists. I mean, this is a nation where we have a right to follow our conscious, our religious faith, to seek out God. You guys agree with that? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Ted Cruz. Up next.